So I wasn't sure if I was going to vlog about this stuff or make videos for myself or if I should even share. So right now the plan is just to take this video and see what happens. Um, my journey in life has changed significantly in the recent weeks. Um, I was diagnosed with ALS um, September 12th. 2019, excuse me. Anyways, I'll have a blog about all that at some point. Um, right now, I'm just sort of sharing my story from the standpoint of what day in the life is like. Um, sorry, I'm trying not to cry. So yesterday I went to Becker Farms and I took my dog and my friend and I was so excited and we were going to go apple picking and we got there and there were long lines and there was a long way to walk and uh, it was more difficult than I thought. Um, the physical restrictions I'm experiencing from this are really significant after about 20 minutes of trying to walk um, on grass and uneven gravel I literally did not have the capacity to walk at all um, I felt like my legs were buckling underneath me and then I could barely walk with my right leg or I was going to fall and I think my pride gets in the way at times because while I had a friend there offering me a hand to walk me through I just wanted to prove to myself I could do it. And I couldn't. I tried. I tried to walk as far as I could. Um, I had to sit multiple times and then I just realized it wasn't going to happen. Like I couldn't participate like I wanted to. <laughs> sucks because I don't want to admit that it's happening so fast and like all this physical shit was just compounding on top of one another and making it really difficult to even do daily tasks. So why I started this today. Um, I'm literally at Aldi's. <laughs> I need groceries, right? Seems like a pretty basic human task, but it's not. <laughs> It's not for me and it's not for a lot of people probably, not even just with ALS, with other disabilities and handicaps and restrictions. And it's stuff that I took for granted every single day. Oh God, I'm trying not to cry. Because we don't realize just how blessed we are sometimes. Like right now, starting my car is difficult because I don't have the capacity in this hand. I have to grab the the keys with my entire palm and turn. Um, you can sort of see, I don't know, maybe the difference in this hand. I'll have to show it another one, but you can see where the muscle is literally deteriorating um, on the right hand side of my body. So it's making things really hard and I'm literally sitting in the parking lot of Aldi's like contemplating whether or not to go in because do I sit here and struggle through it and like be happy once I'm done or do I go home and beat myself up all day because I couldn't get something accomplished and then I have to worry about okay you got the groceries now you got to get them into your car now you have to get them into your house which is a whole nother ball game of fun um so yeah there's all these So I guess I'm going to give it a try. I mean, that's a little easier with a cart <laughs> because I can like sort of lean on it. Um, but yeah, that's sort of where I'm at today. I mean, I have my moments where I'm okay, my moments where I'm sad, and my moments where it's more difficult than others. But some of these basic life tasks are becoming insurmountable, it feels like. And it's so scary because... There's things I like to do that I can't do right now. 
and my understanding from the doctor is that there's no reversal of symptoms. Like whatever I've already experienced, I need to learn to deal with. It's just trying to slow the progression of any future symptoms and the truth of the matter is I don't know if that's going to work and we don't know how quick this is going to progress. So then I start to worry like, well, if I can barely grocery shop now, what's going to be like in two months? If I can barely walk now, how long is it before I'm in a wheelchair? <laughs> oh, fuck. Sorry for cursing. So, <laughs> I'm going to attempt a grocery shop. <laughs> get what I can, take it as far as I can, not push myself too much, and maybe ask for some help with some heavier stuff later this week, like water and stuff. So that's my, that's my video journal for today. Um, guess I'll update everyone once I know how it goes.